Welcome ladies and gentlemen. In the last lecture, we discussed about safety in operations. We have now understood why safety assurance is an important aspect in oil and gas industries. In the term HSC, why safety does not address only personal safety, but also is focused on economic upliftment, loss control which are involved various other factors that lead to catastrophic or economic loss of the oil and gas industries. Safety can be seen in different perspectives, safety can be implemented in the design stage itself, safety can be a part in the operation stage itself. When we say safety implemented in operation we call this essentially as process safety. Managing process safety is a very important aspect which we discussed very briefly in the last lecture. I hope you will have no questions or doubts which I would like to require to clear it now. If you have any questions please keep it posted to me so that we get to understand each other very clearly. Now let us move on to the sixth lecture in the first module safety assurance and assessment. In this lecture today, we will focus on safety in operations. I will take up an exclusive example of safety in drilling operation. When I say safety in operation, it is not the question of focusing on training of personnel, so that safety can be implemented. I am going to touch upon how safety can be implemented while even selecting the drilling equipments, drilling methodologies drilling techniques etcetera in this lecture. <coughs> when we talk about offshore drilling, we all understand that offshore drilling is highly a complex process. It is technically challenging operation. It uses many innovative equipments and techniques, so that drilling time is minimized and production is maximized. Therefore, it requires highly specially individuals to design or execute the drilling operations. As we all understand drilling essentially comes from a major mechanical component what we call as a drilling derrick or essentially a drilling rig. Now, drilling rigs are designed for higher efficiency and mobility because drilling rigs are never a permanent fixture of any platform. They are actually hired or there can be a part where the drilling rigs can be replaced by different kinds of rigs when you talk about secondary well, well completion etcetera. Therefore, rigs are essentially not designed to stay on location but to perform important stages of reservoir development and to build a drilling production structure. There are different types of drilling rigs which we should understand if we have got to carefully select a different specific type for that of a specific operation. There are bottom founded rigs which are essentially jackups and swamp barges. There are combined drilling and production facilities which are preferred by many offshore platforms. These kind of combined drilling and production facilities are either bottom founded or they can be commissioned on floating platforms. The moment we talk about combined drilling and production facilities mounted on floating platforms, the foremost important application comes to our mind is modus which is otherwise mobile offshore drilling units. We have also seen how semi submersibles and drill ships can also be effectively used for exploratory and production drilling. When we talk about semi submersible rigs, selection of a semi submersible rig itself is a major challenge for optimizing the drilling parameters in a given situation. Semi submersible rigs should be designed or selected such that they can withstand 
even severe sea states and wind they should not collapse even under severe sea states. There are many advantages these kind of rigs possess they are pitch and roll are lesser because of the submerged mass. Heave of course, is a worrying issue whose drilling period in the heave degree of freedom is given by the equation on the right hand side. The drill string attracts forces when the vessel is being heaved and that becomes a major problem which causes instability to the semi submersible rig especially on the vertical plane. In this equation shown on the right hand side T stands for the heave period in seconds whereas, a small t stands for the foot immersion of the rig in water and d stands for the displacement in tons. Now, interestingly you must select the period of heave degree of freedom of the rig such that it does not resonate or it does not cause instability in the vertical plane. So, the design catch in selecting or fixing the parameters that influence the semi submersible rig is that keep the water plane area as low as possible because smaller the water plane area lower is the heave response of the rig. Heave response of the rig will affect the performance of the rig and will challenge the stability of the rig significantly. Submerge the lower hulls and float at the column levels because this can cause reduction in water plane area and the issue is once you reduce the water plane area it will challenge the stability point of the rig. So, the factors which affect selection of a semi submersible rigs are the following water depth, drilling depth requirements, environmental conditions during operation motion characteristics of the rig for a given sea state, consumable and capacity of the rig and the efficiency or mobility of the rig which is demanded during the operation. As I said in the beginning safety can be implemented emphasized in the operational stage. On the other hand safety can also be an inherent part in the design stage itself. So, what is safety by design? Safety by design is focused on choosing the drilling equipment and method of drilling because these two aspects will emphasize on safety even at the design stage itself. If you carefully select an equipment or the method of drilling it can improve or assure safety in a given drilling operation. There are many kinds of alternate drilling which are available which can improve or improvise safety. One such technique is through the leg drilling technique. What do we understand by through the leg drilling technique? Wells are installed through the platform legs. Legs can be utilized to protect the surface casings of the wells. They also provide stability because the wells will be through the platform legs and therefore, not exposed to lateral loading at all. It adds strength to resist external forces, sea floor, mudslides and ice movement. One such classical example is shown to you on the right hand side. This reduces better area of the platform, it reduces hydrodynamic profile of the drilling segment. There is enormous savings in platform structural weight and cost if you do through the leg drilling. Monopods are considered to be identical solutions for ice problems. Alaska Cook Inlet is one example which is shown on the right hand side as a photograph. There are many advantages if you provide through the leg drilling. It emphasizes or assures early production and that emphasizes in turn an improved cash flow. Several wells in the leg can be competed simultaneously and placed in production. So, the rate of production per day or per annum will go higher significantly if I have several wells placed in the leg that produce oil or explore oil simultaneously. Drilling rig moves to a well cluster in another rig. Therefore, you keep on parallelly activating 
many number of wells so that the drilling rig which is essentially configured for drilling cannot be retained and need not be retained in the same well whereas, you move the drilling rig from the well cluster and use another rig for well completion. By the time the completed rig is in the first well is there, the first well which is completed is shut and so on. This practice of alternate leg drilling ensures early production flow. It also emphasizes continuous flow which is maintained which is the cash flow as well as oil flow. Time and money are saved if two rigs are parallelly involved. Use of a normal rig for drilling and lighter rig for completion works are suggested as an idea coming out from the literature review. Elapsed time between moving and recommissioning the rig can be easily reduced. It results in cost saving due to the reduced on site requirement of heavier drilling rigs. Ladies and gentlemen, drilling rigs are even higher if they are very expensive. In such cases, a downtime of a drilling rig will add to the exploratory cost of the platform directly. Therefore, cost saving can be seen as one of the aspect which is influenced by reduction on the on site requirement of heavier rigs. Lighter rigs of course, are not expensive by means of their commercial rate or rental facilities whereas, heavier drilling rigs are expensive even if they are hired. But through the leg concept has got certain limitations. It is limited to the size of the completion equipment used which is generally considered as one of the major limitation of the problem. Number of wells that can be practically installed in a given leg is one of the serious limitation in case of through the leg concept. There are important factors in drilling in safety point of view, let us see them one by one now. The thermal differential between the produced well fluid and the surrounding sea water is one of the major factor which influences the catastrophic failure of drilling rigs. As the length of the stick exposed to temperature differential variation occurs, the effects of expansion and contraction of the well components accumulate and that causes series of disasters which has happened while the drilling operation is in progress. In such cases, what do we do? In such situation, we can go for system design. Then the question comes, what is system design? System design is a complete integration of all parts into the whole which should be considered in the beginning itself. Consultations of course, are required between the working professionals who are field development engineers, equipment manufacturers, service engineers, maintenance engineers, drilling company executives, reservoir engineers etcetera. Based upon the common discussion and understanding of different professionals involved in drilling, one can always think about integration of different components or parts in the drilling operation and plan that in the beginning. We call this concept in oil drill as complete integration or system design. Now, before you choose a system design or a complete integration of different parts of drilling to be accounted for, there are basic questions which you like to ask based on which the drilling rig configuration will be selected. How many strings of casing will be run parallelly? How many well heads will be installed in each leg? What will be the size of the well head as well as the drill string? What would be the size of the tubing? What would be the size of the valve? What pressure rating the valve is going to operate? What equipments will be required both for drilling and monitoring? Will injection wells be required for a given stratigraphy? What about enhanced recovery oil pumps which are required if EOR is to be carried out from external source? 
what kind of system is required for surface valves and downhole control valves. So, these series of questions will lead to selection of a specific equipment which in turn results in selection of a drilling rig which can be based upon safety with a focus to its design. Now, let us talk about example of a drilling in terms of safety during operations. The moment we talk about safety in drilling operation, the foremost problem which comes into mind is blowouts and fire. Surface blowouts and subsurface blowouts are two varieties of blowout accidents which are generally happening in drilling sites. Surface blowouts are generally accompanied by fire, explosion, pollution, third party damage, property damage, drilling rig and the platform as well. Surface blowouts if occur generally exposes the company in the public domain whereas, on the contrary subsurface blowouts are very difficult to control if they occur, but the advantage is they leave no impression on the surface and therefore, in public domain they will not be known. The second major problem if you consider safety in drilling operation is kicks. It results from influx of fluids from the formation into the well bore. They derive their name from the flow behavior observed as formation fluids approaches the surface. The trouble starts when the fluid enters the well bore. One can ask a question what would be the main problem with the kicks? The tendency to check the mud pit if the hole is filled is a better option to avoid the occurrence of kicks, but usually it is checked only after the pipeline is pulled out. Now, because of the possible presence of gas slug in the existing pipeline, flow can begin even after the pipe is pulled off. Pit level recorder cannot detect this type of flow because enough time would have been lapsed by the time when this kind of flow starts occurring. Small flow will begin at the flow line. You will be able to notice that in your monitoring device. If the small flow is noticed, there will be time to take control measures. If it is not noticed, then the problem becomes serious that will result in a kick which results subsequently in a fire or explosion. Now, when you choose about drilling equipments either by design or by operation, we have to also answer a major question what would be the options available for marginal field. Now, for the benefit of people what is a marginal field? Marginal field is defined as an offshore reserve that cannot economically support installation of fixed drilling platforms and production platforms. There are many kinds of wells which are identified, but certain wells the yield is so low they will not afford to support a permanent drilling facility like a fixed type or a production platforms. These wells are called marginal fields. Multi well subsystem or subsea completion system are suggested for these kind of marginal wells. This employs floating drilling vessel that drills the wells through a subsea template. What is a multi well subsea system? There are many advantages of a multi well subsea system. It emphasizes on early installation as template can be built faster and installed in lesser time than that of a fixed platform. Installation is prior to the schedule in general. Cost is not sensitive to the water depth at all. It offers very high flexibility in the design, there is no rigidity. It accommodates many satellite wells. Most wells are located on the fixed template on the sea floor. Therefore, major components can be retrieved for reuse in case of any accidents. Final location on the template can be determined after the reservoir is uh, defined by delineage operations. So, in this lecture, ladies and gentlemen, we talked about safety improvised on operations as well as safety by design. You can select a drilling rig equipment depending upon its safety parameters can also select a well 
depending upon how the subsea template is laid and what kind of production facility is laid or initiated in a given system of production units. So, safety is not a part which only comes to operation safety can be even started at the design stage itself. Safety of course, ensures loss prevention, cost control and many other economic factors which we saw in the last lectures. Thank you very much.